did you hear so much about? Boys go down here, he's in where I'm out. We're gonna take him up beyond the bottom, put on a rope, gonna put on my golden shoes. I'll rise when the rooster crows. I'll rise when the rooster crows. The Binkley Brothers, Dixie Claude Hoppers. My great grandfather, Thomas Andrews, appears in the middle setting down. Unlike many bands today, the Binkley Brothers Dixie Clodhoppers had full time jobs. Tom Andrews worked for the L and N Railroad, otherwise known as the Louisville and Nashville Railroad. The Binkley Brothers Dixie Clodhoppers got their start with George D. Hay, the founder of the Grand Old Opry. The Binkley Brothers Dixie Clodhoppers performed on WSM Radio and the Opry from 1926 to 1938, making them pioneers of country music. And in the process, they became legends. Join me as we take a look at Thomas Andrews Railroad Memorabilia. Hi, I have showed you some of my great grandfather's memorabilia and I have fond memories of my grandmother sitting on the sofa looking at um, some of this and her face just lighting up with happiness. I would like to feature today um, the L and N Railroad, also known as part of the Old Reliable. Um, the workbook from 1928, which is a very special year because that is the year that Tom Andrews, along with the other guys who were amazing and talented, recorded one of the first commercial recordings in Nashville. If we flip through, it's very fragile. Um, you can see some of his work orders. And one that I especially like is on Sundays, his writing shows uh, just like a brief wording of Sunday, no troubles. In a moment, I would flip over to the months that they actually recorded and some of the days, and you can see a few of his work orders from then. This is very, very fragile. I'm gonna set it down. Show some of his entries for September leading up to one of their recordings. <laughs> 